Vietnam established the SEAL teams as a premier special operations force. While the legacy of Navy SEALs dates back to World War II, the SEAL team's culture transformed during the Vietnam War. In the jungles, operators learned the value of unorthodox equipment, clothing, and weapons. While jungle green fatigues were the standard issue uniform, special operations soldiers generally preferred more unconventional combat attire. Members of SEAL Team 1, for example, were known to sometimes patrol in blue jeans and boonie hats. SEAL Team 2, on the other hand, adopted the fashion of their South Vietnamese counterparts and clad themselves in tiger stripe camouflage. There are many variations of the tiger stripe pattern, but it typically comprises a base color of green, brown, or silver khaki overlaid with ragged black stripes, like the jungle cat it's named for. Naturally, in Vietnam, where tigers are native, the camo proved highly effective in distorting the silhouette of a soldier's body. Though its usage by U.S. troops was relatively limited, tiger stripe camo remains synonymous with American special operations. Iconic photographs of commandos in Vietnam venerated the pattern and helped add to its popularity. Today, it's everywhere. In action films and video games, on hunting gear and precision rifles, and in the wardrobe of just about every airsofter with ambitions of becoming the next John Rambo. Don't push it. Don't push it, I'll give you a war you won't believe. The first Tiger Stripe uniforms were fielded in the 1950s by the South Vietnamese Army. The design was inspired by the lizard pattern camo that had been worn by French troops in the First Indochina War. In July 1963, Bob Cheris arrived in Vietnam for a six-month tour. The team of U.S. Army Green Berets, codenamed Alpha 432, was tasked with training and advising some 200 indigenous fighters from the central highlands of Vietnam. Alpha 432 wore leopard-spotted camouflage during their first two months in Vietnam, and were then issued a Tiger Stripe uniform similar to the ones worn by their partner forces. Eventually, Tiger Stripe camo became such an integral feature of the Special Forces identity that actor John Wayne wore it in the 1968 film The Green Berets. LZ is a meadow just over that rise. Well, let's move out. Move out. Tiger Stripe camo didn't fall completely out of fashion after the Vietnam War. If anything, it only became more in vogue, especially among elite operators. Still today, American commandos often have the liberty to customize their kits and uniforms when operating in far-flung environments. The SEALs aren't the only ones who have kept the tradition going. During Operation Enduring Freedom, American private security contractors and CIA paramilitary officers in Afghanistan also adopted a version of the Tiger Stripe uniform to suit their mission needs. Instead of black and jungle green, however, the pattern they wore was composed of desert tan and beige. And as in Vietnam, the uniforms matched those of their local partner forces. While the tiger stripe pattern is awesome, whatever special operation forces chose to wear would have become an iconic symbol of badassery.